underside of the wing is covered and it really wasn't as bad as I thought. I was a little apprehensive about it because, well, I don't know, because it's fabric, I guess. But then the trailing edge ribs I'll cover next on the bottom, just so that's done. And then we flip it back over. So we did flip it. We flipped this thing over, move the saw horses so that it's not crushing any of the ribs underneath. And uh, got it nice and glued. Now I flip it over. It was like a three person job to flip this thing. It's not heavy, it's just awkward and bulky and I've got cars everywhere, so. Flipped it over, and um, now I'm going to do the top. Uh, not tonight, but um, now I'm just cutting out where the gussets go to give you to give it a nice um, so the bottom will have a nice tight fit against the wing spars. And uh, a tricky thing that I discovered when I was doing this was um, was on the trailing edge ribs to cover the bottom. I covered the bottom, but I was a little bit uh, judicious with the with the. Um, with the fabric on this side. So I, I, I put it really close to the spar right here and I did actually do the taping already. You can see the, this is the two inch tape, seam tape, and then the three inch seam tapes under here. I decided to go with the three inch instead of the six inch. I could have done six inch, but I think three inch is gonna match the six inch that goes around the spar here and out there. So uh, I think it'll be okay. Um, but there was a little bit of a gap when I ironed this side and it kind of pulled away from the wing spar so you just want to make sure when you do cover this section that you cover it out um, over over top of the uh, um, wing enough so that when it pulls away it doesn't pull away from the uh, too much from the spar so that's it but I'm getting ready to cover this top section it's coming along I'm enjoying it <laughs> quick video to show you how you make those uh, how those rings look on there so they come there's these six inspection rings and they're just plastic rings very thin one side's kind of more rounded than the other one side's flat so you cut a piece I just used a, a coffee lid and I I did a few circles you can still see one right here so I, I just measured around you glue so that it doesn't fray then you cut it out with your fabric scissors and then you glue the flat part of the ring, stick it down on here, you can glue there, and it glues, it get, makes a nice seal. And then, after you cut it out, of course, then you glue it on, and, uh, and then you flip it upside down, and you just, I covered it with glue, and then it just, it glues down. So then you make sure all the bubbles are out, and that's how you get it. And it, it's really quick, and I, I like, I think I like using the inspection uh, ring instead of, or doing those, instead of doing the slit, you can do a slit in here, and I measured, actually I was thinking about it, but I think I wanted to do the ring better, because I think it provides more protection along the sides, so when the push-pull tube comes through, then it'll be more protected, rather than the slit. And you can just reinforce it with uh, seam tape, and that's fine too, but uh, I just went with this choice. I think this was the first option. There's option one, option two, both work. <laughs> All right, just cut some darts into the inspection plates or inspection rings so you can see we get access to the parts that we need. So I can feel that around there, hand can fit in there, and uh, that's that's awesome. So, especially for, for these parts. So, <laughs> that's on backwards, but I just did that temporarily just to, just to see how it would go. 
So yeah, and then I'm gonna do this one, and then the push pull tube can come through. Looks like it's gonna be right there in the middle, I hope. achievement I feel like because I'm gonna cover the top and officially be done except for painting and doing the aileron which is easy because you cover it just like you do the elevators and so on and uh, but covering the top and ironing it and all that is next um, I already pre-glued I threw some glue down so that glue is, is dry on the tops so it'll be activated when I cover it iron it and then uh, re-glue it down on the tops and then that'll give it some stick and then when I uh, uh, put the large head aluminum rivets in and cover it with seam tape that'll be it so 